This week's nugget, we talk and we're going to explore more about mobility. As I get older, I really am coming to the crazy realization that mobility is by far the most important thing over, over anything. If you do not have mobility in your body, in your joints, if they're not buttery, if they're not working uh, with you instead of against you, there's no way you can properly build your muscle through strength training. So you have to have mobility. Um, and I think this is why we struggle a lot with lower back pain. Uh, a lot of what stems from our discomfort throughout our body is the tightness in our hips. So today, and weakness in our hips. So not just tightness, but weakness as well. So today, I'm going to teach you two exercises that I'd like for you to try to incorporate into your routine. Uh, I do them in between sets. So if I do like a lat pull down, for example, supersetting with tricep extensions, instead of taking a rest, I will come down onto the floor and do some hip mobility strength training work. So totally up to you. For me, it's just like uh, once the workout's done and I've done my cool down, I'm done. Uh, in the middle of the workout, it just seems to be a little bit more it, it, it gets done basically. So here is here, here are your two exercises that I'd like for you to try to incorporate at least once, if not more, into your workout routine. You're going to grab a mat or something where you can comfortably have your knee down. You can place a block or a kettlebell in front of you for a visual, but you do want to be far enough away from the wall so that there's a bit of a, a stretch. So you're not leaning into the wall. So you're going to be nice and straight and aligned, but this wall is um, just barely touching it. So that is where I want you to be. And then if you need a visual, you would put like a, a block, one of those yoga blocks, or you would put some kind of kettlebell there for that um, mobility. So this is going to strengthen and help mobile, mobilize your hip. So you're going to hold here, keep everything straight. Don't let your body shift right here. Tuck in your belly, and then you're just going to lift your foot over that visual and in. So nice and straight. Breathe. So when I started doing these, I could do five or six, definitely started feeling tightness, soreness, fatigue in that hip instantly. Now I can do 15 and I just do them until I feel like the last two are just are, are like work for me and now I'm back up to 15. So you're going to build yourself up to this. Everyone is going to be a little uh, unique and at different levels and uh, stiffnesses. So that's the first exercise. The second one, you're staying in the exact same position, okay? You're going to lift your foot over that block and then place it down. So I can feel my back being adjusted, working hard, loosening up. It's an incredible movement. Okay, so I'm gonna come a little bit closer together and then you're just gonna lift Keep your knee high. We have to start looking at these exercises as part of our routine. If some of you are young and you're, you're still not quite there where you're feeling like this is necessary, please, for someone who has been going through um, so much mobility issues and tightness and feeling completely stressed, frustrated with day-to-day -day things becoming more difficult, and I'm only 48, 49 in a few weeks, um, I so wish that I would have uh, started this stuff earlier. So if you're young in your 20s and 30s or early 40s and you're not feeling what I'm feeling, be proactive. The good news is, is if you are feeling things, we can improve the mobility. Flexibility, on the other hand, is a little bit more difficult. Okay, you can do this. I can't do this side at all, okay? But that kind of stuff won't improve. So I, I think I've lost some range of motion in my 47 years of uh, being alive. I've lost maybe 27 or 20, 27, 25% mobility in, basically we're just looking at rotator cuff, like internally and externally rotating the shoulders. You know, how often do we walk around like this? Never, but it's testing our flexibility in our shoulders, which I will give you more exercises to do as well for improving shoulder mobility because that is something that causes a major issue as well as we age. But just keep in mind that um, it doesn't, flexibility or mobility doesn't 
linear, linearly straight decrease as we age. So by the time we hit 50, it goes like this 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So it rapidly accelerates um, as you get older. So let's be proactive, let's simple movements. So instead of just looking at your phone in between sets, calm down, get yourself moving, focusing on that mobility a little bit more. There's your nugget for this week. Please, please, please incorporate this into your routine.